Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max, The Devil's Playhouse. Um, Paperweight, if you could keep yourself quiet for a minute while I introduce the episode, that'd be really good. Uh, we found out who Dr. Norrington is. He's um, Yogg Sagoth poking out of Paperweight's chest in Toys? what is honestly very disturbing. Um, we're going to get out of here, in fact. We've got the... Um, We've got the pictures, which I think we might have to turn into using rhinoplasty, but he doesn't let us use the powers in front of him. Um, so I'm figuring the next thing we do is maybe go and talk to Sal, seeing as we got a phone number for him. Um, <clears throat> we could also see what's going on with Stinky, because I think she left the diner, or was, was trying to leave the diner either way, so we might do that at some point. But first, let's go to Sal's new job, as it's called, and we'll uh, see what our best buddy the cockroach is up to or the giant cockroach i should say because we had a cockroach um in save the world didn't we that was a little cockroach but Ooh. so this is a payphone somewhere oh there's Sal. and a bunch of doggle oh good doggle gangers oh it's the car let those sam show more respect for our car than we do <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> well, that was awfully convenient. Sam? Oh, Sam wasn't very happy about that. Okay, well, um, straight away we can see we've got the ventriloquist dummy here, which is Max, awesome. It's our old friend, Charlie Hotep. Get it away! Get it away! Charlie Hotep. Come on, Max. He'll give you cool ventriloquism powers, just like <laughs> your great-grandpa Maximus had in olden times. Fine, I'll do it for the powers. But for the record, I want to make it clear that I find Charlie Hotep, like all ventriloquist dummies, completely creepy and disgusting. Yeah, so I mean... You, but you don't see me getting skittish about it. Yeah, I mean, it... It is pretty creepy, in all honesty. <laughs> Lovely. Well, he's powered up. So we've got Charlie Hotep. Um, I was asked to do something with Charlie Hotep, and that is to use him on the jukebox in uh, the Stinky's Diner. So we'll we'll do that at some point. Uh, maybe in this episode, if I get Corpulent time. Corpulent Dogman Swarm City. Corpulent? The nerve! <laughs> I know. Joey would have allowed them to use a larger typeface and been alliterative to boot. Max, that's just rude. All right, so we've got some sort of... Can we interrupt? Run willy-nilly down streets into the city. I mean, that sounds like something we can Is maybe do. or does Lady Liberty look a little off? I'm sure she's had some work done, but come on! <laughs> what 230-year-old public figure hasn't had a butt tuck or two? Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I see your logic in that, Max. Um... So Sal's new job is is here. Um, I've noticed our good old friend Bluster Blaster is here, but I don't know if we can do anything without those doggle gangers seeing us. So we'll have to see how we get on. Toys. Yep. Toys. Toys. Uh, shoot or run? Let's run. Toys. 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 Yikes. Toys. So where are we running to? Oh, we're back again. Uh, okay. Well, that was a harrowing chase down the clown-infested streets of the city. And the clowns were pretty bad, too. <laughs> At least we finally lost them. Clones and clowns. All right, so they're back here. So it's not going to be a case of just being able to walk past them. Um, maybe we can use this to distract them somehow. Um, let's see if we can do a bit of mind reading on Bluster Blaster. <laughs> of course. Uh, Sal. Dooby dooby doo, stacking some crates up. Dooby dooby doo. He uh, really is a simple guy, isn't he? He's a nice guy. Clone. Keep your distance, Max. We don't want those toy sniffing Sammy Lackerons coming after us. Toys, toys, toys. <laughs> Literally, all they're thinking about is the toys. The devils are all sharing the same mind. Amazing. Amazing for you, but my nasal passages are about to be visited by Uncle Flo. <laughs> Can we? Newspaper racks, Mike. Is this your card? Who the hell are you talking to, Max? Beats me. Must be one of those freaky psychic power moments. <laughs> we can't use it on the uh, the seagulls, as I would have imagined. But then again, it is a Sam and Max game, so you never really know. Let's do a bit of future vision, see if that can help us out here. 
Doesn't look like there's anything there. We can use it on Sal. I can do better than that. I'll draw you a picture. Oh, he can draw a picture of some sort, and that might help us with rhinoplasty. This is totally awesome! Okay, Bluster Blast is gonna end up somewhere. I'm not sure where. Who said that? <laughs> So, we might be able to use the ventriloquist dummy here then, if he's said that, who said that. Uh, I've also been asked if, well, I've been told that if you use the mind reading with Sam enough times, you get some pretty sad stuff. Max is so powerful now. Soon he won't even need a partner. Okay. Star, Tars, Arts, Rats, Charm. <laughs> nice. Are you casual gaming in your head again? Well, excuse me for being able to multitask. <laughs> Star, Tars, Arts, Okay, that's the only ones rats, we've got for now. Char? Are you casual gaming in your head again? Sam and Max Excuse are never for being able to multitask. They're never gonna go separate ways, are they? That would just wouldn't be right, to be honest. It just would not be right. I mean I, we've had a couple of instances where they've had to work alone in this game, which have been quite cool, but nothing beats the old partnership of Sam and Max together, does it? Okay, um so we can maybe use it on Blaster Blaster. On the warehouse door on Sal. And that's about it. So let's try Bluster Blaster. Attention, dog clones! Bluster Blaster has many toys of power deep within his encasement, and you cannot have them! Well, it might work as a toys. distraction. Toys? toys. Out of the trap! Toys! Out of the okay, so it has distracted them somewhat. So, I mean, can we talk to Sal while they're distracted, or will that not work? Oh, it might work, you know. We seem to be able to get over here now. Sal! Sam and Max, what brings you guys down to the warehouse district? Oh. All the usual mystery, intrigue. The roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd. <laughs> Checking on you, actually. How you been? So you gave up your cushy job at the museum for this? You bet. That museum gig was getting dangerous. What with all the fires, the slimy tentacles, and the gorilla pummelings. Yeah. I'm just not cut out for a life of excitement like that. I get it, I get it. Yeah, how, how else have you been? What exactly are you doing out here anyway? I've got a great job stacking crates. Doesn't pay much, but it's way less violent. Fair. At least it was until those guys came along. Yeah, those guys are quite annoying. Um, do you know anything about them? How are you coping with all these Sam clones? Is that what they are? Thought they might be some of your skinnier, less inhibited cousins from over in the village. <laughs> skinnier? That's mean. So my clones haven't been hassling you? A little, but I don't seem to have whatever it is they're looking for. Yeah, looking for the toys. Anyway, what's crates. in those crates? Beats me. As long as there's nothing in these babies that keep me from stacking them, I could give a June bug's behind about what's in them, you know? So maybe we've got to affect the crates in some Stack way. Stack on, good buddy. You know it, Sam. I really like Sal, Sam. It'd be a shame if he got sucked into the undertow of the mayhem and destruction that follows us around like an awestruck teenager. What the hell are you talking about, Max? <laughs> he's, he's being completely honest, and... Can we look at the door? It's locked. Yeah, these warehouses usually don't open until, like, five or six in the morning. Okay, so maybe we can make it be five or six in the morning? Looks like my clones have already picked this pile of junk clean. Alright, so the pile of junk's gone. Um... Let's see if he has anything else hey, to Sal. say. What's up, guys? He does not. Stack on, good buddy. You know it, Sam. All right, so Whee! let's let's head back over here. I just want to see if we can potentially use the um, ventriloquist dummy on the door. Hey, doggle gangers! It's me, Max. I'm in this warehouse with all sorts of juicy psychic toys. Because it might open it, I guess. Toys. So I don't know if they can... Okay. So, so it actually looks like they're just distracted by it. I thought maybe they could break it down and that would get past the waiting till 5 or 6 in the morning. But maybe we can just talk to Bluster Blaster. Hey, it's our noisy old friend Bluster Blaster. More like a barely tolerated acquaintance. Hey. You look like chum, old chum. Sam, Max, what are you doing in Vegas? Shh. Oh boy. He's gone crazy. What happened to you? Yeah, we thought you were in Vegas helping Bosco count cards and pick up showgirls. <laughs> Is that Bosco what he's doing? Why? 
down it towards the wall. Oh dear. Yeah, the dealers tend to notice things like that. Yeah, doesn't go down too well that sort of thing. Need any help? No, oh, thank you. I'll just sit here until my shield regenerates. All right. Well, um, what's going on with cops anyway? Do you think you'll rejoin the cops now that your Vegas adventure is over? That portion of my life is terminated. Oh, well, that's a shame. How's Bosco doing? We haven't seen him for a long time. Do you know what happened to Bosco? Bosco stayed in Vegas to pay off debt to the casino. Right. Okay. Cleaning tables. Mail stripper. Oh God. Ew. Interesting. Yeah. That. <laughs> Max. <laughs> oh. Okay. A letter from Mama Bosco. Guess what? I met a girl. So it looks like I'll be staying in Vegas a little bit longer than originally <laughs> planned. Please take care of the store while I'm away. Love, Bosco. P.S. Could you wire me about $20,000? <laughs> Worst Bosco impression ever! That was pretty bad, guys. Mind if we deliver this to Mama Bosco? Take it! I never want anything to do with Bosco ever again! All right, fine. I mean, no. Apparently, Max wants to see Bosco as a male stripper. I don't think anybody else does, though. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all these Sam clones running around, would you? Those are real. Yeah. Holy mother of God! <laughs> I think that's a no. <laughs> all right. Well, nice catching up. See you, Buster. I have become death. Good for you. All right. Well. We've got the letter, so we can deliver that at some point if we ever meet Mama Bosco. Um, now that we've got the ventriloquist dummy, I wonder if we can actually do the seance and trick Super Bowl and um, Harry Moleman into believing that the voice is actually the, the voice that we need it to be. But um, I think what I'm going to do, we also need to figure out this drawing thing that he does there, but I'm guessing we're not ready for that yet. So let me go and do the request, which is using the um, dummy on the jukebox in Stinky's Diner. See how that goes. And then we'll see about going back to the seance at the lab. Hey, Flint Paper's here. And Max is glitched again. Grandfather, will you please tell this booze-soaked gumshoe to get out of our diner? Just answer the man's questions so I can get on with my pathetic excuse for a life. <laughs> All right, well, first things first, let's do the jukebox thing and then we'll see what's going on here. Okay, ventriloquist. So we can use it on Flint, we can use it on Grandpa Stinky. Jukebox. I remember my childhood in Brighton. Max, no. Sorry. <laughs> I remember my childhood in Brighton. <laughs> Max, no. Sorry. Oh god, alright. That was fun. Alright, now let's um <laughs> Jesus. Let's, is, is that like clipping through the wall? Is there actually a hole there? I think there's actually a hole there, isn't there? Alright, let's see what Flint Paper's got to say for hey, himself. Flint, what's Hiya boys! Just putting the finishing touches on this whole girl stinky caper. Really? Well, no. But Grandpa Stinky's gonna stop paying me if I don't wrap this case up tonight. So I'm kind of winging it here. Okay. Had you on the retainer for months, and you didn't even know she'd installed not one, but two secret tunnels under my diner! Mind if we kibitz in your interrogation? Be my guest, boys. I'm hitting a brick wall with Miss Motormouth here. See? Now, where were we? Oh, yeah! Who's this Mr. S-Bug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Yeah. By the way, for those who are wondering, the um, the song on the jukebox, if you haven't played it, uh, which I know some, some of you might not have, uh, that's the song from um, Sam and Max Hit the Road. Um, so a nice little throwback to the, the first ever game there. Um, oh, we're back. Um, Stinky didn't say anything, Sam. See what I'm working with here? Maybe she doesn't know how these hard-boiled interrogations are supposed to work. We're back to the noir stuff. You're right, Max. Let's show her how it's done. I'll be Flynn, and you'll be stinky. Nice. Fine, but if I get typecast, you're getting a nasty call from my agent. <laughs> all right, sister. What's the deal with all your secret tunnels? Secret tunnels? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a very good impression. Liar. You filthy, rotten liar. We know all about the secret cloning facility at the end of your secret tunnel. So spill. Cloning facility? What are you talking about? Uh, no, 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 that's his line. Flint, Flint, could you move Come your on, face? Stinky, don't pretend you don't know anything about the massive sand cooking machines we found at the end of your secret tunnel. Get out of my way! Not so fast, Dollface. You're Get not going anywhere until you answer some questions. 
Fine. Fire away. Anything to get me out of this madhouse. Okay, then. From the top. Who's this Mr. S bug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Mr. S is Sam. We were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. Okay, well that's just not true. But I don't know if we have evidence. <coughs> we can go noir. Birthday parties. I hated them. <laughs> they... <laughs> Wait, what? You heard me. Mr. S is Sam. The two of us were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. Uh, yeah, that's not a thing. Liar. A birthday in for another five months. That's why it was going to be such a surprise. Is this true, Sam? No. Uh, it, it sure is. She'd already ordered your favorite cake. Why are I we... Did. Oh, I mean, that's right. I did. A cake, eh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you and Sam can cough up my favorite cake, I'll send Mr. Paper home. Until then, you're not going anywhere, granddaughter. All right, so we've got to do this cake thing then, I'm guessing. <clears throat> I can't believe you and Sticky were planning a party and you didn't ask me to help. Oh, I come love on, Max. licking envelopes and cooking up embarrassing party games. Don't be a dork, Max. This whole party thing is just another brick in Stinky's mountain of lies. But if we cover for her, maybe Flint will let her go, and she can lead us to her mysterious Mr. S and the mastermind behind these rakishly handsome <coughs> Sam clothes. Good thinking. Sounds convoluted and absurd. I like it. Of course you do. All we have to do now is find Grandpa Stinky's favorite cake. All right, well, I'm guessing for that we probably use mind reading, right? So that'll... That'll probably be the thing. It seems to be the toy in this episode that we use the most. So we shall do that in the next episode because we're out of time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul for the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumidim, Paul Leone, and Fossey the Sheep. And I'll see you next time.